Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is your game failed to launch. An error on our end caused your launch to fail. Try again a little later. So if you are receiving this error message, whenever you try to launch FIFA 23 or FIFA 22 game on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to verify the game files or repair the game files. So whichever game is giving you the error message select that game so i'm using dead space as an example so if fifa is giving you the error message select fifa or if you if battlefield is giving you the error message select battlefield so whichever game is giving you the error message select that game and then click on manage and then click on repair after the repair launch the game now if you bought the game on steam if you bought the ea game on steam then go to steam make a right click on the game i don't have any ea game over here but you select your game which is giving you the error message make a right click on the game and then select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game now the next step is to use origin to launch the game so right now origin is discontinued so there is a way to download origin for on computer so go to google in the google search type in download ea app and then click on go to ea website download the ea app website now once you go to ea website now scroll down over here you can see download the ea app now here you can see windows just below it you will see download origin for mac so make a right click on this hyperlink and then click on copy link address now open a new tab paste the url over here now over here you can see mac you have to replace mac as pc so remove mac and type in pc see so instead of mac type in pc and then hit the enter key now once you hit the enter key this will download the exe file here you can see origin thin setup dot exe so exe files are for computers so run this exe file once you run this exe file you can launch origin so i have already installed origin run this exe file and then open origin login and you will find the game in origin so use origin to launch the game now the next step is to reload e app page so on e app you can reload e app page so you can open ea app and then click on these three horizontal lines on the top left and then select view and then click on reload page and after the reload try to launch the game now still you are facing the problem in that case next step is to uncheck administrator in ea app exe file now for this go to the go to these two location now open file explorer go to c drive open c drive open program files x86 or program files let me check now open electronic arts folder and then open ea desktop app folder now open the ea desktop once again scroll down and find ea desktop over here you can see ea desktop make a right click and then select properties if go to compatibility if run as administrator is checked over here put a check over here now if this is already checked uncheck the box which says run this program as an administrator make sure this is unchecked click on apply click on ok and then launch the game open ea app and then launch the game so first of all you have to close ea app before doing this if ea app is open close it and then uncheck administrator and then launch the ea app and then launch the game again go to this pc open c drive now this time open program dat data now if you don't see program dat data then go to view and then select show and then put a check on hidden items because when hidden items is unchecked you you won't find program data over here so go to view show and then put a check on hidden items and you should be able to see program data now in windows 10 somewhere over here you will find view option 
click on view and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see program data open this folder now open the microsoft folder now open the windows folder and then open the after windows find let me check open start menu folder now over here you can open the program folder now open the ea folder now over here you can see ea make a right click and then select properties again go to compatibility then uncheck the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok and then open ea app and then launch the game now still you're facing the problem in that case if it is already checked if already unchecked then try launching the game uh, try launching the ea app as an administrator not the game as ea app as an administrator now for this again go to these two location and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator so try to launch the launch the ea app as an administrator first of all uncheck administrator if that does not work you can go to properties and then go to compatibility go to compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok and then open ea app and then launch the game do the same thing when you go to this location so go to this location and then put a check on the box as an administrator and then on both the location do it open the ea app and then launch the game so first of all you have to uncheck the box as an administrator then try launching the ea app if that does not work you have if already unchecked then you can try launching ea app as an administrator and then launch the game next step is to run ea app recovery as an administrator now for this go to the app this location once again here you can see c drive program data microsoft windows start menu programs ea and then over here you can see app recovery make a right click and then click on run as administrator once that is done you can open ea app and then launch the game next step is to delete the game exe so go to the game installation folder delete the game exe file first of all keep the exe file somewhere else you can keep a backup and then open ea app click on download this will take few seconds to download the exe file so let me do with uh, one game this is just an example so click on manage over here you can select the game which is giving the error message and then go to view properties click on browse this will straight away take you to the game installation folder over here you see the game exe file this is just an example i'm deleting the game exe file or first of all keep a backup so let me copy this file and i'll put it on my desktop so i have the exe file over here now now once i have the exe file now i will delete this now open e app you have to open the e app once again and then click on download this will only take few seconds to download let me check make sure that you select the same location where the game has been installed so in my case the game is installed in different drive so i will select the right drive so i will select the right location and then i'll click on next it may take few seconds over here and it's uh, downloading i have only deleted the exe file not the complete game so over here you can see it's uh, downloading 
it's actually reading the file. It's not downloading because here you don't see the speed over here. So it may take few minutes, not few seconds. So here you can see it's uh, actually reading the file. It's trying to recognize the game files. So this process will take time. Maybe it's repairing the file. Whatever it's doing, let it let it complete. Once this is complete, now you can try launching the game. Actually, it's not downloading. If it's downloading, you will see this download speed over here. So it's not downloading. It's just trying to uh, recognize the files. Once done, you, you can try launching the game. Now, the next step is to... Now, if the game has been installed from Steam, if you have installed the game from EA game from Steam, then uninstall the Steam version of the game. You have to uninstall the Steam version. So you have to uninstall the game. If installed from Steam, uninstall the game and then close Steam and then reinstall the game from EA app. So if EA app is not installed, you can install the EA app login and then try to download the game from EA app. So instead of downloading from Steam, try to download it from EA app. So first of all, uninstall the game from Steam and then download from EA app. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to uninstall EA app using Revo uninstaller and then reinstall EA app. To use Revo uninstaller, you can go to this link. The link is provided in the video description. Go to Revo website. You can download the free version. So you don't have to pay for anything. You can go for free download. Once downloaded, now select the EA app and then click on uninstall. Continue. First of all, let me close this. It will create system restore point. Let the process complete and then click on uninstall. Let the uninstall complete. Now, once uninstalled, this scan option will be highlighted. So just wait for a few seconds. Close this. And then scan would be highlighted. Now click on scan. Now once the scan is done, click on select all and then click on delete. Click on yes. Again select all and then click on delete. Now click on yes. Now, once done, make sure that you restart your computer. Now, after the system restart, you can go to EA website and then download the EA app. So you can download the EA app and then log in and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game, which is giving you the error message. So uninstall the game, restart your computer and then reinstall the game and then check. So one of the steps should help you to get rid of the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.